You're watching The Breakfast Club. Yep, it's the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. Charlemagne the God, Angela Yee, DJ Envy is still on vacation. What and accent was that? Montserrat. <laughs> 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 And we got her squad in here. Hey. Yes, the lift service ladies hey. are here. Hello. Hello. Stephanie Santiago, Gigi Maguire, L'Oreal. L'Oreal. Stephanie just found out she's a white girl. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you, I no, that's white for do. real. You're 63% European. You're white, Stephanie. I that's know. White. I'm white as white. Did you know that beforehand? No, I mean, my grandmother always says that her grandfather is from Portugal and my father's father was from Spain. So I did know that. But I thought I had a little more African. Yeah. I thought you were Spanish or something. Me all this shit. No, I no Spain in there at all. No. Wow. So what does yeah. that mean? Now you're gonna move different? No, no. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's just a, a that was just a composition of a Puerto Rican person. You know, it's like European, Native American, African. No, no. Puerto Rican, up. Spanish, right? <laughs> Puerto Rican. Spanish is from Puerto Spain. You can't keep saying Spanish. Yeah. But I'm saying you gotta have some type of Latino vibe, and there ain't there no Latino go. vibe in that. No, there's no, there was no, there was you no. You 63% white. I know. She Come can't on. use seasonings. Take you back to the caucus mountains. <laughs> I mean, it made sense because of what my grandmother is always telling me. Gotcha. I'm always like, you know, she's 95 years old. She talks about the same things over and over. God bless her. You know, so I'm just like, oh, whatever. She's just talking. That's crazy. Stephanie been appropriating Spanish culture all these years. <laughs> <laughs> that is so crazy. <laughs> no, please. Oh gosh, but you know I'm happy about you know being white. Being white. Being white? <laughs> wow, wow. Say it loud. She's white. She's proud. <laughs> <laughs> you got to change your last name now to something like Summers or Smith. Summers, Smith. Smith. There you go. <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie Smith. Stevens. Stephanie Stevens. Yes. Oh, Stevens. Absolutely. Now, yeah. Gigi. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to the bed. I can't believe you've never been up here. I have not. Gigi, you've never been up. She's a virgin. No. Wow. My first time here. <laughs> That's crazy. And Stephanie and Gigi actually hang out with each other all the time. Y'all met during lip service, right? Yes. yes. And yes. now we're like best friends. Besties. So let's talk about the past. And L'Oreal, we all know L'Oreal. <laughs> yeah, no I'm here. Deal. You know, I'm like the fourth member of the Breakfast Club. Absolutely. Broken. She really is. <laughs> she, except she hasn't been here in two years. But well, I'm filling in for Envy right now because, you know, we light skin. So we just going, I'm going to just true, replace true, him today. True, 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 true. And I need that cup for this XO we about to oh, drink. here you go. Here you go. <laughs> so, Gigi, you say you hang with Stephanie all the time. Is that going to change now that you know she's white? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know she can be fully trusted anymore. No. <laughs> um, I, have a, I have a very uh, multicultural friend base gotcha. all of my friends are. she has white friends yeah <laughs> I have I, my best friend's Korean you know I, I dibble and dabble on a little bit of every ethnicity when it comes to my friends look mm -hmm. at Angel over here she's Everything. Asian and you know she's yeah. very multicultural Stephanie you can't say the n-word no more too I just want to throw that out there I, come on you know what I'm so Puerto Rican <laughs> no, speaking no. of which please I'm don't go back Rican. to those old episodes of lip service then because <laughs> she's really yeah, in trouble yeah over <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah, Charlotte. You know, it's Thank so you. funny because I like it, it. I was just like, oh, it makes sense. One like the, time. you know, sometimes like I think some evil, like brutal thoughts, like blood savage stuff, and I'm like, no wonder that's the white person. She <laughs> 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 about to shoot up a school. Sense, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm scared right now. I'm telling you, the Native American, that little 18 percent of Native American. I'm, I'm telling you, like that. And I'm lying. It was 13. percent That's it was a lot. 18. It was 13. percent I feel like that's what brings me like peace and faith. Oh like, my god. Like, True. You know, she about to start wearing a feather in her hair. I swear. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it all makes sense. All right, so we are gonna have our first ever live show, Live Service Live, at the Highline Ballroom. Yeah. And I'm excited. You know what's interesting is that um, Peter from Highline Ballroom told me they'd never had a woman's podcast. They do a lot of podcasts live there. So this is the first time they're doing a show of all women. And I always have felt like Lip Service is very empowering. So Definitely I want you ladies empowering. to talk about why that is. Because some people look at it and be like, oh, it's just girls talking about sex. But that's not really all that it is. I feel like... And, like, today and age, you know, when you got a lot of girls out here that just got their booty on Instagram and all that, and people are looking at them like, oh, well, this is all our girls is doing nowadays. It's like, nah, we're, I feel like we're actually being a voice and making a lot of women comfortable with talking about their sexuality. Absolutely. Like, um, when the Gabrielle Union story hit. And she was saying, like, you know, she eats ass. Eats ass we talk right? about eating ass in every episode. And nobody ever, I guess it's the way you come across and say it, because nobody ever really be like, ah, them nasty ass. Yeah. They, you know what I mean? 
Huh? They well, might. they might. They yeah. might. But I think we make it a little bit more acceptable because it's like we break it down. Like, well, yeah. this is what happened and this is what put me in this position. Scoot the gooch. Yeah. Yeah, scoot the gooch. Well, it's, up a little it's bit. It's not the women that ever get the bad rap when it comes to eating ass. It's the guy. It's like, oh, that's gay. You let a girl eat your ass. No, it's both. I think it's the women, too. Because look at yeah. her. Look at her. They, they, they were making fun of her. her crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's just a grown thing to do. Like, if you don't do it cool <laughs> to each its own. But grown. some grown people do that. Like, some young people ass? do that. <laughs> some young people do that. I eat ass. And I ain't going your... to stop you if you eat my... Uh, I was about to say, do you get your ass ate, though? <laughs> you know, it's very rare. I ain't going to stop you. We, we bring up that topic a lot on lip service. And it's very rare that we get our young black men to admit that they like it, even though we know they do. Right. So, Why do you think that kudos is? I ain't gonna stop it's the you. same reason what Charlamagne just said because everybody always associates it with being homosexual. Whenever it's butt it's play, not, everybody it's always thinks yeah, like, guys go oh, crazy it's on gay, the show it's if it's we gay. talk about fingers and the eyes. Yeah. It's, Knowing damn well they done had a few fingers mm-hmm. up that booty. They go nuts. Mm-hmm. So let's like, break oh, down no. some of these myths very, about men. Very yeah. rare do the guys admit it. But they like it. Because you know, like very it. rare do they oh, turn man. it down when you're That's to great insurance, though. <laughs> a girl can never talk shit about you once she eats your ass. That's a fact. Anything she say to you, you can be like, but so what, you ate my ass, though. But you can't but talk you shit me. about her either. Because right. at the end of the day, you could be like, um, I had you doing a dead uh, roach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is a dead roach? roach? Uh, That's when you, you was holding your own like feet. a dead roach. <laughs> <laughs> I might have ate your ass, but you was holding your own feet while I did it. So. Right. So either Jesus way, Christ. either way you win. And I slipped the finger in there and you ain't stopped me. So. See, that's what you got to do as a woman. You got to put a little pinky in there. That way when he talks shit, yeah, but a I put pinky. my finger a in your pinky, ass. You got to put your pointer finger. finger. Right. Yeah. Index, yeah. What's, what's, the the point, what's the most the fingers y'all finger. ever put up there? I put, I put two, two for Gigi. Yeah. Gay! Okay, so I'm not going to lie. That's definitely not but his first time. But that's when you got to cut him off. Like, if you could get more than two fingers up there, you're like, all right. That dude. wasn't his first time. You're not looking for me. You're nope. You're looking, you looking, looking for Tyrone. <laughs> so you two is the cut off. Tree. Yeah. All right, now let's talk about some of these other myths about men because obviously we've all had our dealings with, mm-hmm. with our men. Mm-hmm. And so there's a lot of things that guys outwardly act like they don't do, they're not into. They try to put up this tough exterior. But we know in real life behind closed doors, it's not really like that at all. At all. Mm-hmm. Men, I feel like when it comes to sex, is they, I feel like nowadays we have become the aggressors. I know with me, like, I'll be quick to be like, all right, I'm ready to have sex and I will. Pull your dick out. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Guys, like, oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen all of these sexual assault allegations and sexual harassment going on? Yes, I'm well, not. I'm man trying to be him aggressive. To, it's okay. What do you mean? If it's your boyfriend, shut up. Nah, bro, <laughs> bro. Bruh, bruh. You never your know. Your boyfriend, he sexually assaulted me. That thin, we go it, together. It's a thin line between consent and what, what, what is it nowadays? So guys so are being cautious. So you don't make mm. the first move anymore no. with your wife? <laughs> no, I still ask for permission. <laughs> <laughs> I still and you ask for permission. You, for, never, you, you never, you never know. A non-disclosure <laughs> right. agreement. But that's why it has changed with guys, though. Guys don't want to be the aggressor anymore because of all of these sexual assault, sexual harassment allegations. You find that's true? I, no, I don't find that's true. <laughs> no, yeah. I, don't I feel think like that's true. I, I'm, I'm. I feel like I'm aggressive, but I like to, I like to be, you know, pursued. So I'm not. I'm like waiting for my man to be like, oh, come on, let's go. Yeah, but you're a white girl. You're a freak, so I don't even... Yeah, yeah, but once it's I'm not really into waiting. When I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to put it in my mouth or something. Wow. So you, without idea. asking for consent? <laughs> no. Wow. And guess what? He's not going to stop me. Either. Wow. So Gigi out here sexually assaulting people. Sexually assaulting people. people. <laughs> Sex so what if, wow. I'm going to register myself as a sex what offender. What if he said no? <laughs> what if he said no, Gigi? That's a great question. Who says, what no? If, who says no to head? What you what mean? Man, what man is really going to let me pull their penis out of their pants and attempt to put it in I my might be traumatized in that right. moment. I and may be in me. shock. I may not know how to <laughs> no, react. No, don't. Yes. What if I say no, though? You going to keep going? Yep. Wow! <laughs> wow! Right here doing <laughs> See what women can admit to, but men can't. Right, shut up. <laughs> Take wow. this mouth. Wow. Take this mouth. <laughs> this is a, you see what women can admit to that men can't? But there is right. a fine line, though. You have to admit. Like, look, Stephanie, there's a lot of things that you like in the bedroom. And I guess all three of y'all. You guys like being wrapped up. Here you go, throwing us under the bus. Here you go. I'm interviewing y'all. Okay, you're right. I like <laughs> Stephanie's back, story though. about, are you going <laughs> to say the one? Getting punched in the ribs? That wasn't my story. She said it wasn't I her. Thought you said no, it, it wasn't, wasn't her. me. It was my, it was my brother. Uh, my best friend. Yeah. If you listen to the episode, you can hear that. Your brother okay, had sex okay, with your okay, best okay. friend? Yeah, yeah my brother you. slayed a couple of my friends. That's how it should be. You're a great sister. 
No, but, but that's the point, right? Like having a friends and a brother, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Do guys ever get nervous? Like, I don't want to take it too far if we're getting rough in the bedroom. Like, have you ever had a guy be like, is this okay? Or does he just go for it? Yes. Guys are nervous nowadays. They don't even want to pull hair because everybody has fake hair. So they don't want to pull, <laughs> <laughs> pull your hair. They, yeah, you, they, I gotta, they like, definitely, force they definitely ask permission. Can I pull your hair? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. How do you force you, a man to slap you? You got to, like, grab his hand and be like, oh. Put his hand on your hair. Oh, no. No <laughs> way, <laughs> way, way. Not in this era. Nope. Nope, I'm nope, like, nope. And they're still like, oh, 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 okay. I feel like if you, you ask for sure permission, you. then that's just, like, that's whack. No, that you just got to do it. Yeah. Grab me up or do whatever you're going to do, but don't be like, hey, is it okay if I choke you a little bit? Then I'm going to be like, no, because you just ruined it. Like, but that don't sound people, right no, in the court yeah. of law. You grab my hand, it. slap, made me slap you. Then if you press charges on me later, the judge is like, did you slap her? Yes, but she she made me do it. Like, what? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. you going to jail. I mean. I don't know. <laughs> see, see how white girls know. get you caught up. I'm t- right. But now we were talking about empowerment, right, and how lip service is empowering. Because I always felt lip like we do need this. Empowering. We do need this uh, place where we can talk. Like some people feel like it's so taboo for women to talk about sex. And Every woman that- wants to talk about sex. Mm-hmm. They right. just don't have it in them to bring it out of their mouths, so they don't talk about it. But they enjoy hearing us talk about it. And I have a lot of people that tell me like they would love to join in on the conversation. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they like speak as if they're engaging in the conversation with us while listening. And I think one thing that makes our show very empowering is the advice that Mm -hmm. we give. We give a lot of advice. I get a lot of people in my DMs and in the comments saying like, oh, I tried this move you talked about, or oh, you know, Uh I decided. (laughs) Now I'm in jail. (laughs) Or oh, I (laughs) decided. Jesus Christ. He told me to stop, but I kept sucking. (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) Um, And then, you know, they'll say like, you know, you know, I took this advice that you guys gave me, or, you know, I had a similar situation to something you guys talked about, and Mm -hmm. I used what you got, you know, and it worked. And, you know, and I think that, um, it's cool. We'll it's, good to hear, talk, it, you know? it's good to hear real women talk about real life situations and mm-hmm. things that we go through because you can learn a lot. And for men, you can learn a lot too by you listening never know to who lip else service. Is going through but the same exactly, type of situation that we speak about. But that's exactly what I feel like lip service is. It's an ear on a real conversation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Between women. Right. Because uh, so, sometimes you're embarrassed maybe to ask your friends mm-hmm. certain things about sex. And I feel like. I mean, not us, of course, no. but I feel like if you were one of those people that was like, damn, I don't, I don't want to talk to nobody about this or that, I feel like really if you listen in on lip service, we pretty much cover everything. everything. Something several Sucking times. Sucking toes, mm-hmm. bu- butt play, butt plugs, all kind of stuff. <laughs> butt play, a lot butt of plugs. butt talk this morning. <laughs> there is. I don't know. We do that how, y'all, how does y'all men feel about this, though? Like when y'all men hear y'all on these podcasts talking crazy, revealing y'all secrets? I'm single. Mm-hmm. I'm single, too. My boyfriend doesn't listen you to single, it. You single, Stephanie? <laughs> my my um the guy I'm dating doesn't listen to it either. He probably does secretly. Yeah, but I've had um you know the person I'm with now. I only been with him for a year. We've been doing the show for a couple years now. Mm-hmm. So in previous relationships, I don't have any issues with it now because I don't really feel like I get into detail about anything. But in the beginning of the show, I used to just speak all my business. Mm-hmm. So it. it that caused me problems. It did? Yeah. See, sure. I think that a guy has sure. to understand when you do this, because I did lip service back when I was at Sirius, too, and my boyfriend would always hit me up and be like, oh, I heard what you said about this and that. Right. But I'm also like, well, I've been doing this, so, I mean, I, either don't listen if you have a problem with it or listen and learn. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I've had right. exes, like, ex-boyfriends hit me up like, damn, you just going to tell our business on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, they don't know I'm, I'm talking about you. Yeah, <laughs> they, exactly. That's what I always say. I'm like, I ain't say your name. Like, you mm-hmm. good? Like, and he's like, everybody knows you're talking about me. I'm like, you're just being paranoid. Up. Especially when y'all I mean, talking about stuff like butt play. I definitely know. <laughs> when, I, when I was in a relationship, there was definitely some things that I said that was an issue within my relationship. How long ago was you in a relationship, G? <laughs> We've been separated um, and not together for well over a year now. Really? Mm-hmm. Charlamagne, drink your drink. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's been over a year. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Yikes. You feel like how you could talk changed when you broke up? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Because I don't have anybody to answer to now. I'm thinking. It is hard. I'm going to say, one of the main things that hurts people when, when they do like stuff like this is worrying about what other people think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because I feel like at a certain point, we all worry about what people think, whether it's your boyfriend, whether it's people who are listening to the show, because people do judge. They one do judge. One thing on a personal level with me, and you guys know this about me because in real life, we are real friends, but it, it, it doesn't, it takes a lot for me to get embarrassed, mm-hmm. you know, or nervous. Like, I'm very open and honest, and um, I like to share my experiences and, you know, my mind with people. I like to engage in conversation with people. So I talk freely because, I, not that I don't care, but I don't care. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it, it, there's a lot that I share, and, you know, there's a lot that people, close friends and family, like, oh, you told her, you said, but so? I mean, it happened. It's right. real life. And, and they, again, you never know who's going through or who's interested in or who, who it can needs help. advice or who it can help what you talk about. I've never seen you being embarrassed, G. Ever. Never. Yeah. I don't I've never seen you nervous either. I mean, I was a stripper for most of my adult life. I danced nude for strangers, elbows and booty holes. Elbow. Not just a right. stripper. You were the stripper. Okay. Come on now. The. Let's be, let's be <laughs> clear on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. 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 <laughs> you, you was the top, top, top tier. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, if you can dance naked in front of strangers for the a decade like what uh, what can embarrass you mm-hmm. yeah I do feel like it's times that I've listened back and been like why the fuck did I say that like it has been times mm-hmm. but then <laughs> like it'd be a lot of times like, yeah then it'd no, be but... people in the comments like yo me too da 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 that's how I felt and then I'd be like I'm mm-hmm. glad I said you know what I mean right. I'm glad I opened up even if it made me feel a little bit Mm-hmm. Funny I feel like I'm more careful now, but it's okay because I already said everything. It's all there. I, I said everything already. Right? The only thing is that people are hearing the episode for the first time and didn't hear everything else previously. They don't know. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And that's something we learn just in radio in general is that you can't never assume that people know everything about you. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. Like they might have turned on the Breakfast Club well, for the first time. that makes me feel good. Yeah. And that <laughs> makes me feel really good. Maybe people didn't. They don't know. They didn't hear that. Yeah, so you can really <laughs> reintroduce yourself as a white woman now. Like, <laughs> Stephanie like, Stevens, a white Stevens. pure Stevens. virgin. That's it. That's it. Stephanie now, Columbus. If you guys had to say what you're, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I like it's Stephanie so Columbus. This is Take so it funny. to the next level. Sidebar, <laughs> sidebar. What's so funny is when I lose my tan, I'm always like, man, I'm looking real Christopher Columbus out here. <laughs> Stephanie <laughs> Columbus is it? <laughs> Don't I say that? <laughs> oh, what man. would you What would you guys say has been your favorite person to interview? Oh, you know, mine is French Montana. I knew you was going to say Mine French. was French Montana. That was one of the funniest episodes. I he was felt drunk. Like he was drunk. He let us go through his phone. Oh, that was hilarious. It that was, was the best. A girl, a girl called up him one time and said she had butt play Oh, really? Stop. We're not supposed to talk about that. He got oh, mad. Yeah, my oh, bad. my God. Oh. Well, we ain't talk about that <laughs> with him. <laughs> He talked about shit, though. Like, yeah. He did not want to talk about he shit. He didn't want He said that if he's like dating somebody that, and she should never, ever poop. let him even know that he po- she poops. Yeah, at like, all. Never let me even know that you're going to use the bathroom and do a number two. I can see that. I, I agree with that. I, I agree, too. I feel too. like that's none mm-hmm. of a guy's business. Girls it's don't poop. not. Yeah, like, girls I don't poop. don't do that. Yeah, I, I don't announce that. it to a woman like oh, I'm going to do a number two. So what's the point? Like yeah, yeah a lot of guys. But he was saying yeah, that you can't even could. do it in the house. Like he has to be gone and everything. Yeah. No, I ain't. I ain't he I ain't said he was crazy. with somebody for what was it like seven years and he the, never and, seen them yeah. ever even. And then he said he was with a girl for seven bathroom. days and then she went to the bathroom with the door open and he sent her home. What now, level financially was he at at this point in his life now? He was flying her out, so oh, okay, okay. he had a couple Cause, dollars. Because if you yeah. live in a place where you got more than one bathroom, that's possible. <laughs> that's, they were in a hotel room. They were in a hotel. They were in a hotel room, and she, she was thought he left. with the door open. Yeah, she thought he left. I wouldn't do and that. He walked in oh, and she, she thought was like, where are we going yeah. tonight? Right, right. And she was holding it in. And Chloe That's the nasty. worst when you got to hold <laughs> Chloe. it. Chloe! <laughs> Chloe's so nasty. <laughs> you yeah. so Chloe. He was in her longer than that. <laughs> Maybe that was the last day, though, low-key. How, how do y'all... Oh, go ahead, you. I would say, what was your favorite? Gigi I, and Stephanie, both of y'all. I like Kevin and Drika... I'm sorry. Kevin, Kevin and Drika Gates. Mm-hmm. That was a really great that one. That was a good one. That was our... our that was our only, only married couples. couple. Yeah. Yeah. That was a really I enjoyed one. that one. That was great, yeah. That was a really We've had a lot of good ones. Though. Stephanie, yeah, what were you saying? A lot of good ones. I don't know. Either Trey or um, T.I., one of those two. Oh, yeah. T.I. and London J. came together. Yes, they were fun. They're, They're going to be on our live on our yes. show. The Highline Ballroom. And, and we Trey got some, songs. This we is got birthday. some surprises, too. Oh, yeah. We got some, mm-hmm. surprise yeah, we got some people surprises. that are really nervous to come and do lip service live. They've never actually done lip service. Right. But I will tell you, it's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> He's, I can't wait. 
What do y'all think about like people saying, oh, they hoes because all they talk about is sex? I mean, everybody has sex. That would just be like a, a immature way of looking That'd at it. That'd be like, your mama's Absolutely. a hoe. Yeah, your mama <laughs> a hoe because she got three baby fathers. <laughs> and, no and, she don't, and you don't even know your dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> never been married. <laughs> you ain't met your father. Shut your hoe ass up. Nah. <laughs> but I mean, that's just all part of the what comes with it. Either there's going to be people who say that and there's going to be people who, people who say, I love the fact that y'all are doing this and I can relate to it. And it's funny. Like, the point is we interview people and instead of it always being about, you know, the music, or career. what they have coming out or their it's career. About their it's about life. their personal life. It's about right. y'all They're sexually really harassing men for an hour no. and 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Listen, they true. enjoy it. Yeah. And nobody wow. Heard they good. Nobody. <laughs> what were they wearing, Gigi? Huh? Did they bring it on themselves? <laughs> they brought it on <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, because they wore great sweatpants. Listen, they, had every time. Huh? Every, no they had on great sweatpants. No every, time, <laughs> every time it's time to rap, they're like, oh, it's over already. I don't want to leave. I want to. I can't wait to come back. Like, we've had guests come back more than once and you know, they all love it, especially the guys. Girl talk is always fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the guys are always like, damn. Like, right. they always like. They friends be joining in yeah. on the side. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. Some people ain't want Trina, they don't want to leave. Yeah, Trina mm-hmm. was like, next time, make sure I don't have nothing else booked. <laughs> she yeah. was like, uh uh-uh, uh, five more minutes. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, why I'm done. Black Youngster, I really Yeah, like Black Youngster. Oh, yeah, was Black Youngster was good. Always so fun. You know, Black Youngster, remember we had Yo Gotti first. Mm-hmm. And, right. he and he was, was off there. to the exactly. sideline and wasn't engaged. He wanted to come back. Right, so when he finally came, he's like, I've been waiting on this. I've been waiting since I stood on the side. Like, he was so excited. Did he give y'all money? No. 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 Damn. You're the only bird shot in there. That was. You did get a gift. Plies gave us flowers. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Weren't they beautiful? They were nice. Money bag YO gave us some. Some ace. ace. Money bag yo. Yo, mm-hmm. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. But, um,. You know, I will say that these are conversations that we have for real. So why not bring it to the podcast? Like, we talk about these things in real life and sometimes mm-hmm. even crazier. Mm-hmm. And people think sometimes that women don't talk about this, like, with each other. We don't talk about sex. It's so we taboo. Nasty. But we're making sure that it's not, like, a taboo topic. People are having sex. And it's important to have these conversations, you know? Now, do y'all get along? Because it's for y'all. Mm-hmm. Do y'all all collectively, like, get along? Like, is it a, a good energy? Not if we're all on our period. Yeah, oh, done it. and they do sync, <laughs> and they do sync. No, we definitely get along. Yeah, I think yeah, we, get we all along. get along. Yeah. Gigi yeah. cooks for everybody. I do, and I make <laughs> drinks for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so that she's like the the mother when it comes to that. She's yeah. cooking and making a drink. Mm-hmm. And when we're in town, we spend New Year's together. Yeah. Me and um, mm-hmm. Stephanie and yes. L'Oreal. Uh-huh. Gigi wasn't here. You were in Atlanta, right? Yeah. Yeah. But whenever we're around, like, we all hang out together. So it's fun, and we have mm-hmm. a good time. So I think it's also good for women to be united like this. Because there's not a lot of shows that's all women, like how we have a show that's all women that we kind of, we run everything. So it's not a lot of that. So we all are very supportive of each other and what it is that we're doing. So. Right. Why do you think the scripper game fell off, Gigi? Social media. Really? Mm-hmm. What you mean? Like exposing it too much? People are used to seeing People naked women now? People themselves too much on right. social media. So mm. nobody wants to pay for what they can get for free. That's mm. mm. you know? true. And the rappers and the ball players who were blessing us with the Ten thousand dollar nights, they woke up and realized that they're throwing their money away. Literally, <laughs> <laughs> and they don't want to do it anymore. Well, but what you know? about the bartenders? People say that it's like bartenders versus. See, strippers. that's a New York thing, mm-hmm. and I never danced in New York. Okay, because um, in Atlanta you getting butt naked. Here yes. they not, you not getting naked. So yeah, you, I don't even follow any of that. Yeah, the strippers like, and I don't the dancers. Even, I feel like here. you know everything just gets old. You know, like you, everything gets tired. You have to evolve, and that's just something that didn't evolve like it evolved into a bar a stripper to a bartender that's and, a and that's stripper, new york but, but a bartender in the south and in, in miami are. and houston and, and dallas like, and atlanta it's old you know, it's, it's tired already like people are tired like, it definitely evolved down south because y'all was doing tricks and mm-hmm. wearing that's costumes better. like it was actual show no, but yeah south, we were definitely like putting the strip on clubs in down south are still lit no they are no that's what i just said yeah, yeah. new york turned into this whole stripper yeah, versus bartender like fiasco but in in, in Miami <laughs> and Houston and Dallas and Atlanta and the Carolinas you know strip is still strip yeah, yeah, yeah. now mm-hmm. it's not as popping as it was in the Young Jeezy and the you know those oh, days man, BMF you know, days the BMF is days crazy. The 2003 to 2008 you know it's not the same as it was then but you know, I was just in Atlanta a couple months ago, and it's still popping. Well, and yeah. we went to Magic City, and Absolutely. it was lit in there. Yeah. Like me and Kinda Gigi lit. was in there, and mm-hmm. Cuddy, mm-hmm. and it was crazy. But it's not like that in New York. Now, name no. something that you learned from doing lip service that you might have tried at home. <laughs> you know what we talk about a lot that I never like engaged in role play. 
Like yes. I never did the role play. We were supposed to have thing. role play homework. Nobody completed that. Nobody, did, Nobody it. did it. And One I thing that's so embarrassing. And y'all, y'all talk about toys a lot. I don't use toys. I don't y'all use put toys. me on well, the Well, I use my womanizer. Shout out to womanizer. Yeah, who's a womanizer? That. She loves that <laughs> thing. It's my boyfriend right now since I'm single. What is it? Oh, honey. And I, this might be TMI, but I haven't had sex in like two period cycles. So <laughs> that's how she gauges it. That's too much. Yeah, yeah. that's what that okay. is basically. Yeah. <laughs> she yeah. said two periods. Well, what is a womanizer? Though? Mm-hmm. What's a womanizer? Yeah, it's a, a vibrator that sucks at the same time as it buzzes. Oh, so it does a got lot, you, got and you. It's amazing. She's it like the different, spokesperson for this. It thing, has different like... speeds. And, I mean, it's my best friend. I love it. The womanizer it just do, sounds do you... so aggressive. It sounds, <laughs> it's amazing. It sounds bad. It's great. Do you miss being in a relationship? No. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't miss my relationship. But I do miss having, you know, someone. I miss sleeping with someone. I miss, you know, having someone that I share things with and talk to and, you know, share my life with. But, you know, I'll, I'll find that again, I guess. You don't miss him? No. Damn. I miss the dogs. I saw my dogs. <laughs> Charlotte, <laughs> yo, he is crazy. I mean, we're Jake cordial. Drink, yes. we, listen, I just said him. Me and my ex, you know, it's been eight years since the day we met. So... You know, we are very cordial. <laughs> we are very family oriented. You know, my mother passed away recently and he was there for me. Sorry through to that. hear that. Thank you. He was there for me through that as well as my friends were there for me mm-hmm. through that too. And um, you know, we have we have kids, we have dogs that, that are like our children and um our family's engaged and you know, I spend time with his family outside of being with him and you know, that's not gonna change. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um my daughter's involved, you know, the house is involved. So it's, it's a lot going on. Right. So even though we're apart and we're definitely not together, nor are we sleeping together, um, we're cordial and, you know, we're allowed to be in each other's company without beefing. So you would never reveal any butt play stories is what you're telling us. <laughs> Charlotte Jenkins. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I just know he watching this like, nigga. Nigga. <laughs> He's going to kill you. Okay? <laughs> He's going to text you. <laughs> you know, you know I love you, man. What about something that you okay. learned, Stephanie? Did you learn anything that this you guy. tried? Um, I'm Not in the bedroom, no. I think I came on the show and I was pretty experienced with my You guys tries. are going to be proud of what I learned. What? Because oh, it was something, that, that, yeah, no. it was something that Angela told me to What to is it? <laughs> How to be a rapist. Oh, oh my God! No, I didn't say that. I said to be aggressive and oh, be the person. Oh, I did mercy. tell Gigi that sometimes you this have to horrible. initiate sex, and I started initiating sex. Yeah, and Charlotte said I'm gonna go to jail because I won't stop sucking the dick. I'm just saying yeah. it's a it's a clear double standard. I can't talk like that. If I was to say, yeah, I just pulled her pants down and ate her out, <laughs> and she told me no, and I kept going, what girl gonna say no to head? Lord oh, have mercy. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. That just sounds very bad. That was great. Yeah, that was a rape story. That was really bad. <laughs> when did, when did this happen, Charlotte? No, no, don't do that to me. I ain't no Weinstein, all right? <laughs> but no, I did tell, Ratner. and I think I said it to everybody that y'all got to initiate sex because nobody was really initiating sex Well, like I that. started initiating sex. Isn't it great? And that's what I learned from lip service. All right, good. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like if a man could do it, why can't a woman? Like, we want Men sex cannot to... rape women. I no, never had I a mean, problem with initiating, initiating sex is not rape. Yeah. I never had a problem with initiating before you guys made it an issue, you know, on the show. But I just feel like when the guy is ready, he ready and I stay ready. You ain't never got to get ready. But stay we, ready, so. But well, you know, guys, it makes them feel attractive, too. Like, you. Right. Yeah, I know. You know. I learned that. It yeah, makes them so feel that's wanted. what it is. Sometimes mm-hmm. guys don't want to always be the ones that initiate sex. They want you to be the ones that's like, all right, let's get it on. She Stephanie all me. quiet. She's like, you're not incriminating me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know, one thing I've learned got from being pending. on lip service is to wait my turn to speak. Is that's the one thing I've definitely learned with working on a radio show. Right, True. it's not regular so, conversation. Yeah, to wait my turn to speak. Don't talk over everyone. <laughs> I said, go ahead, Steph. <laughs> it's your turn. You have the floor. What? What did I? I haven't. You know, I'm not sexually. I mean, I think. Um, I think. I, I think I've been teaching on lip service, like giving advice, Look at right? That. White and women always want to take all the credit. Definitely learn how to be a sound like engineer on lip service. Doing I, something. Right. I definitely learned how to be a sound person for the <laughs> show. Like I've learned stuff within the show, but sexually. I can't really, nothing comes to mind. I'm sorry. She has that I'm thing sorry, that God. she puts in the bathtub that I had never heard of before. And then I sent y'all a picture. A loofah. 
Oh yes. What? No, Let me it's, a, it's a dildo. I haven't used it though. I haven't used the one with the suction cup. Time. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a it's like a dildo with a suction cup. You like put it on the wall and you could like bounce on it or whatever. Wow. In the shower. Yeah. No. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Somebody took a selfie. Shit. White girl shit. White girl shit. Y'all didn't white see that. Oh selfie. yeah, the selfie. Yeah, 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 Somebody yeah. took a selfie and with one she in the had background. the dildo stuck on the back in the shower. <laughs> and she didn't realize it. And she posted it. Do guys use toys, Charlamagne? <laughs> yeah. Like Not on choice? each other, but on... <laughs> what yeah, toys do you like use? Cock ring? I other. use vibrators and stuff on my wife. Do you use a cock ring? That's a good question. Uh-uh. Most black guys don't use cock rings. Yeah, I, cock I don't even ring. know what that is. It's, it's like It's a little rubber circle thing, and you put it on your dick, and it like vibrates. vibrates. Why, why would I do that? It makes like you feel extra good. pleasure. Like, oh, so I don't got you, got you, got you. But most got black you. men have too much girth for them. So they don't use them. You can't. You yeah, can't you put them. your balls in the ring, right? Like the guys put their balls in it. I don't know if that's supposed to be. Put your balls in the ring. Ding ding. I don't think so. Ground one. Just kidding. Well, I think what y'all do is good because I'm all for uh, equality. So right. if men can talk nasty and say what they want, women should be able to too. I agree. And why is yes. sex nasty? That's amazing. Yeah. He's not talking nasty. Like a good nasty. Yeah, it's a good nasty. Yeah, like yeah. Nasty. Doing the nasty. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you know, we nasty. learn a lot about these artists that you wouldn't really hear anywhere else. So I think that's important too. Right. Absolutely. It's kind of fun. They get to really show their personality and have fun. I'm sorry. Those D.L. Hughley stories that we heard yeah. about him getting crabs and. Oh, man. Damn, why you had to bring that up? Because that, that, I couldn't believe it. It was just so much stories that <laughs> No, he was... but he sent his uncle to get the medicine for it. Yeah. No. <laughs> but what about uh, and the um, comedian that had the girl tied to the bed unconscious right and he called him in like y'all really have to listen to some of these episodes because these people are revealing they stories share a lot. with us yeah, yeah. That i think funny is that young joe talked about how he was having sex with oh. a girl and then his girlfriend was coming over and he forgot to take the he condom still had off. a condom on so uh she had he had on a used condom when his well, girlfriend was down with a whole Drum condom on. One of that's my disgusting that's so <laughs> hilarious do y'all get contracts from sheiks in dubai no, <laughs> no. Nobody ever hit y'all on the DM you like you want to come nah. to Dubai. You know that trip is so taboo. I have no interest Me either. at all in going to Dubai. Like mm-hmm. not unless I'm with my husband, married. Social so, media, so, so, ruined I don't want to go to Dubai. No interest. So all what you're Abu saying Dhabi, is Middle Eastern nope. those countries are beautiful, but I'm passing on it. So when you see it. somebody in Dubai who's been crying broke. Nine times out of ten. He's talking about Tyrese. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. Yeah, we do say that is the myth. You know what yeah. I mean? That you go over there to get shitted on and get a couple dollars. Boom. Wow. That is the myth. I'm it's... not saying Tyrese did it. I don't know his situation. He's with his wife. I mean, she could I be doing it, it too. <laughs> double the double the pleasure, Listen, double the fun. They might be getting that, that supposed <laughs> Will Smith check if they over there doing it like that. Who knows? Well, Will, Will, they, that, that was already a, called a rumor. That wasn't true. Jay didn't probably send him the check. I'm saying he might be getting it from a sheet. He didn't put his oh, wife on. Oh, yeah, since Will didn't do Y'all it. Y'all gonna stop talking Got about you. This. That makes a lot of sense. See, that's why <laughs> women are smarter than guys right there. I didn't put that together. All right, well, Lip Service Live <laughs> is going down, actually, at Highline Ballroom. Tuesday. Today. Tonight. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Tonight. Today. So it's if you guys want to come, make sure y'all come through. We're going to have a good time. We have some really, really fun special guests coming through. It's going to be very educational because we have... Um, we have a, a nice wide variety of people. And, of course, T.I. and Hustle Gang will be in the building as well. And okay. shout out to Killer Touch. He's going to be DJing. Okay, Killer. <laughs> we're going to see if we could get Stephanie to learn something because she said she hasn't learned anything. Oh, we're going to teach her something. Let's see if... We're going to learn you something. Learn you something tonight, girl. <laughs> learn you a little something, right. child. Y'all go check them out tonight at the Hammerstein Ballroom. The High Line. High Line. Highline. Yeah. Damn, High Line Ballroom. That's uh, Stephanie Columbus, Gigi Maguire, <laughs> and L'Oreal. We're going to get Charlamagne a cock ring, too. <laughs> oh, yes. No, I'm cool on and that. And then you got to let us know how it was. I'm girthy. Oh, so you can't fit it. No. Nope. We're going to find an extra one. I ain't got no one. length, but I got some girth. <laughs> I got a Pringles can. So maybe you could put it the other way. Right. <laughs> <laughs>